here we are with our colors for the base coat i have some kind of metallic black here this is drips that i have saved and strained i just added a little extra black to deepen it up a little bit and then i have from modern masters sapphire blue their sapphire blue is a really nice deep blue that i just love and then from golden i have iridescent gold deep my favorite i have Artist Loft Silver, which is a really nice light silver. And then I have my favorite copper, which is Blick Acrylic Copper. It's beautiful metallic. And I need to thin that one down quite a bit, actually. Okay, and then I have some spare cups here, and I have a black canvas. So here I am just laying down my base coat. And you guys know I generally use a base coat always, but I think it's particularly important with this type of pour where we know there's going now to be negative space Now my table is left. really dirty here already because I had intended on doing two canvases, but my first canvas, I got so excited to pour that I actually forgot to put the cardboard into the cup that I'm using to pour with. So the first one ended up just kind of being a waterfall style pour and not a wing pour specifically, which is what I had intended to do. to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited for
With Earth Day coming up, I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit of my cleanup process and what I do to reduce, reuse, and recycle waste. So I use my paint sticks hundreds of times. I just wipe them down at the end of every use, let them dry, they're perfectly good to use again. I then scrape up all of my paint into the center of my paper. And I do use paper, not plastic. I then funnel that into a cup that I've used dozens of times and I kind of milk that paint down into the cup so I get every last drop of it. Keep my paper folded over and I let it dry so I can use it again. I then strain that paint back into the cup that I already used so it's ready to go again. And with this that was a really simple decision because it was a nice black color already so I knew it would work with what I already had in there. I also wipe down my strainer. This is a reusable strainer. And I wipe it down versus washing it in the sink because you really, really don't want to be putting paint down your sink. Uh, acrylic paint is plastic, so you're literally washing microplastic down the sink if you do that. So I avoid that at pretty much all cost. A couple of other things I do is I do reuse my press and seal that I use to seal up my cups. I just um, wipe the rims down really good and put the same press and seal back on. It, you can use press and seal quite a few times before it stops sealing well. And lastly, what you'll see me do is I wipe my gloves down with just some water and I pull them off and reuse them. They're totally reusable. And there it is. Um, I did speed this up, but this was about less than five minutes total. Here we are with wet results. Unfortunately, I am not going to have time to do dried results before I have to get this edited and out to you guys today. But I just wanted to show you this because I think this is gonna be stunning when it dries. It's very subtle. Love these little wispies. This is the other one. I love that little section right there. Some interesting little cells formed. Yeah, I am absolutely in love with these. I think they're gonna dry gorgeously. And I will show you the dried results in my Instagram feed. So I hope you guys have a beautiful day and a beautiful weekend. And goodbye, Christine. We will miss you.